Hey William, I'm not sure how well this is going to work trying to use this camera, but just to give you a little bit of an idea of how this system works. Um, first thing of course is you have to have Bay Junkies Pro Stir system to stir the plastic. Okay, Your Presto Pot is pretty much just a Presto Pot all by itself, doesn't do anything special. On the stir system, you'll notice this long probe. This has to be something that goes into the pot because it reaches all the way down to the bottom where the heating element is and it's, the, it's what picks up the temperature of the plastic and transmits that temperature reading to the PID controller which then adjusts the temperature up or down depending upon when you've set it. So that's kind of how that works. If you don't have this unit inside your pot, you're not going to be able to control the temperature from an outside source. Okay? That's connected to the PID with this cord, and I'll show you what it looks like real quick. It's kind of simple. It has its own cord when you buy it from Leonard. And it's got a small two-prong bayonet cord that goes into the back of the PID. There's a corresponding connector back there. The other cord that you see is the 115-volt AC cord for the rheostat control on the Presto Pot. Those are the two main things that you're going to need to control the pot and the stir. Okay? The stir motor is a separate cord. It doesn't have to be plugged into the PID at all. Once that's done, all you need to do is connect a power source to the PID and then you just control what you want temperature wise by setting it on the dial that's on the front of the PID. You'll see that when um, you buy the one from Leonard or from somebody else or if you build.